Hi, my name's Michael. So for the past probably two years, I've been getting a lot of phone calls from clients telling me that they can't get into their Microsoft Outlook. The program opens, but it comes up and asks them for their password. And this is something that happens on email addresses that end in spcglobal.net, uh, bellsouth.net, and att.net. So what's happened is um, Yahoo, the company that uh, handles these email addresses, has switched to a more secure username password scheme that doesn't accept passwords from Microsoft Outlook or programs like it, like um, Windows Live Mail, Outlook Express, or Thunderbird. I believe this also happens with the Mac um, Macintosh Mail application, if you have a Macintosh. So what I'm going to do is show you how to fix it. So I'm on Google.com right now. If I go to Yahoo.com, go to sign in. You may have already figured this out, that if you come to Yahoo.com, put in your email address and the password that you know is correct, it will let you access your email. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So as you can see, now it comes to an AT&T login. So you have to put in that same email address and password. Okay, so Yahoo Terms and Service, it's explaining here that it got bought out by Verizon Media, which, Media, which is part of the problem. I'm going to come down and accept that. But now if I go to Mail, um, I can get to my email. And if you have one of these email addresses that's not letting you work with it in Outlook or Thunderbird or one of the other email you know, accessing programs, you can come to Yahoo.com, log in with the email address and password, and get to your email. But the thing is, a lot of people have... Um, email saved in folders in Outlook, and they just prefer Outlook as opposed to coming to a website. So in order to get um, Outlook to work, we'll go back to Outlook here. So here's my, uh, my email. There's not much in there. Um, but there's also a password prompt. And if you're having this problem, you probably recognize this. You sit here and you type in the password you know is correct, and it says it's not correct, and it asks you for it again. Now the trick is to go to att.com. I'm going to move this little window out of the way, which I'm sure you're probably used to having to do, move the thing out of the way so you can actually do what you want to do. I'm going to come up to my account, and it looks like it's not signed in at the moment, so I'll need to click sign in. It may or may not, but what we want to do is get to profile. Okay, I hit sign in and it did sign me in. Worst case scenario there is you have to sign in again with that same email address and password. So I'll scroll down here. What I'm looking for is manage secure mail key because that's what Outlook or Thunderbird or Windows Live Mail needs. It needs a secure mail key in order to let you log in. It shows my email address there. It'll show yours when you go. I'm going to click add secure mail key. I'm give it a nickname, and you can put anything you'd want here. Um, I'm just going to tell it Outlook because that's what I'm going to be using this for, and create secure mail key. Click that. So right up here is my secure mail key, and uh, I've covered up uh, a good part of it. I'm going to do copy secure mail key. That copies it to the clipboard in Windows. Now if I come over here to the login prompt, I'm going to put the cursor there, click to have it blinking, I'm going to press Control v to paste, which pastes in that secure mail key. I'm going to hit OK. Now here in Outlook, it's going to send and receive my mail. Synchronizing. And I'm in. I didn't have any additional email uh, come in, but when you do do it on yours, all the emails that you haven't been able to get in Outlook or Thunderbird or Windows Live Mail or whatever you're using will start coming in and you'll be able to send and receive emails. Now when you go to um, yahoo.com to get your email, uh, at the beginning of this uh, I knew my password. If you don't know your password or if you go to att.com and you don't know the password to the email address, there's options there to reset your password which you'll need to go through. Once you're in, you go to Profile Scroll down to Manage Secure Mail Key. 
There's already one there because I just created it. But if you want to create another one for another program, you can do add secure mail key and you can make as many as you like. I believe I don't, don't know that there's an upward limit, but you really just need the one. Thanks for watching.